I'm going to just change the direction series now. So I'm going to move over to the channel, get a drink if you need it. Nice cutting motions, good. So I'm looking to see how he uh, pushes off left versus right. He will go to a, uh, in pre-season, he'll go to a performance lab uh, where we will um, put him on some 3D analysis. You know, it'll give us a lot more objective data. At the moment, we, we will film it. We will look back on films and we, we you know, see it live. But it's very subjective because it's our opinion and when you're seeing something very quickly, it's often difficult to get a, you know, a true representation of what's going on, so you need to slow it down, which fortunately with iPhones and things like that, it's very easy to slow these, these down nowadays. When we start making our decision of when he's ready to go back in, which will be you know, in the pre-season, we will have multiple angles of these shots as well, so we can see him from the side, we can see him from the front, we can see him from behind. As I say, ideally this needs to be done in a laboratory where we can you know, have state-of-the-art cameras filming in that we can get real nice high-definition images of how he changes direction, how he moves. So on the drills that we're doing at the moment, these change of direction drills, it's a subjective recovery, which means Scott takes as long as he wants to recover. We're only doing three reps of each exercise and I want them to be performed at his highest level that he's capable of doing in terms of his acceleration, deceleration and, and overall pace. Uh, different days we may alter the variables and we work with something called the work to rest ratio. Now depending on what we're doing that day will depend on what work to rest ratio we set. So it could be a one to one as in the time it takes to drill the drill, he gets the same time to recover do a one to two, a one to three, a one to half, so on and so forth. It's something the sports science boys um, will use in pre-season along with sets, reps, overall duration and all the different GPS variables that we, we see. A uh, sports science team work with our injured players from day one, although they're limited in what they can do, they will they will start from day one, and that might be doing an upper body conditioning circuit to maintain cardiovascular fitness, to ma maintain and improve upper body strength. From day one, we set something called the PDP, which is the Personal Development Plan, and we've tried to come away from the term rehabilitation and rehabilitation programs and prehabilitation and prehabilitation programs and injury prevention, all these sort of buzzwords that get thrown about. When someone's injured, we set them this, this PDP and that evolves throughout their injury process. But the reason we take away the rehabilitation word is that often when players then go back in playing, they think, oh, I'm not injured anymore, I don't need to do rehabilitation. So by calling it a personal development programme and they'll see it evolve as they go through the phases of their injury, it just means that we get that buy-in and they'll continue doing that. And we just found it really effective over the last few years. Yellow, cut back, explode out to red. Get there, get there, get there. Good. 